Well, you guys know some of my favorite parts of all the vlogs I do is when I have guests. So I am so excited about this one. My brother, Daniel. Dan. Dan the man. Oh my God. <laughs> he hates it. And Allison, his fiance. Thanks, you guys, for coming. Yeah, Happy absolutely. to be here. Okay. So if you had all one guess of why they're here, are we going to talk about cooking? Are we going to talk about renovating your bathroom? No. Or are we going to talk about weddings? Mm -hmm. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Y'all are excited. Yeah. <laughs> it's all people want to talk about when you get engaged. So it's right. All about the wedding. So mm -hmm. the average wedding in America, you guys may have seen this stat already, so don't cheat. But is the average wedding in America A ten thousand dollars, B thirty-five thousand dollars, or C fifty thousand dollars? If you had a guess. I have no, I honestly can't cheat because I don't know. Okay. I would say B. Yeah, I would What'd you B. say? Oh, Smart, smart cookies over here. You're both smart. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. It's me. Do you feel like you're on HQ right now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. It's going on like an hour ago. We love HQ. I know, it's great. <laughs> Wedding planning, it can be stressful. It can be expensive. All the mm -hmm. above. But there are a few tips that I have when it comes to wedding planning. And the first one being, you have to dictate what type of wedding you yep. want. Like, mm -hmm. do you want an outside? Do you want it in the church? Do you want it casual? Do you want it formal? All that. So how did you guys decide what kind of wedding you wanted? I think term? guest list for sure is probably the biggest determining factor. Yeah. Because depending on how many people people you want, it determines what your budget is. We only had a five month engagement. So really the first thing we had to jump on was getting our venues nailed down. Mm -hmm. And so for us, like the guest list is what determined our venues. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that was one thing we had to just jump on immediately. And that was the first conversation we really had and hashed out was how big do we want our wedding to be? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm curious. So I got married in a church. I just felt like, okay, no matter what's gonna happen. Oh, yeah. Unless there's a fire, there's the building is going to be there. Like, mm -hmm. There's rain or weather, doesn't matter. So for you guys, did you guys want an outside wedding? Because I know you're getting married oh, yeah. in a church. I already know the spot, mm -hmm. you guys. Mm -hmm. Was that like a conversation y'all had or was it pretty set? I can't do the rain. Oh, I don't yeah. like the unpredictability of it. Mm -hmm. um, or family. Well, yeah. One of my best friends, and you remember, the wedding was outside in May a couple of years ago. And we got completely dumped on. It just rained the entire time. Everyone had umbrellas, oh, and yeah. it was oh. terrible. All the food got ruined for the reception. Oh, no. And so, I would say even if you want that, though, like you walk away thinking that's memorable. So oh, it was it was a blast. Yes, we totally, totally. remembered it. And I'm sure people watching this, they've yeah. had that same experience. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, it was great. Yep, absolutely. Okay, so determine the type of wedding is big. Mm -hmm. Number two is the budgets. You know, you're not going to leave here without me talking about <laughs> budgets. But a budget is so key with wedding planning. And when Winston and I got married, we felt this because it's like, okay, we have the set amount of money and we always did like the zero based way of wedding planning, budgeting. Okay, this is what we're going to spend mm -hmm. on venue and photographer and food, da, 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 until everything adds up and subtracts to zero. Mm -hmm. Total minus expenses equals zero. So for you guys and you're marrying into Dave Ramsey's family, so <laughs> budgeting is like our middle name. Uh, it's a big thing, right? So you guys, I'm sure, had to talk about money and all that. So mm -hmm. when did that conversation start? I mean, really immediately, we <laughs> started having the conversation of uh, where we're we gonna have, or what's our what's our guest list? How many? Where are we gonna have it? What's our budget? Those were the first things we talked about. The day after we got engaged, mm -hmm. Daniel had his laptop up and was like starting a Google Doc of our guest list, and we had a different <laughs> tab for the budget. And yes. so I don't know. I think as mm -hmm. quickly and decisive as you can be yeah. on making those kind of decisions, it's gonna mm -hmm. make it a lot easier mm -hmm. because out of that flows a lot of your decisions too, right? Yeah. Because it's like if you're getting married with five thousand mm -hmm. dollars, that's gonna be you can invite less people probably mm -hmm. than yeah. if you have like $5 million or whatever yeah. it is. So budgeting it is, it's a huge part that dictates so much of your wedding and that's important that you're on the same page. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I remember with Winston and myself, we had our set amount of money that we were gonna spend on the wedding. But our role with dad, cause I was the, right, the daughter of the, mm -hmm. Daughter of the group. Daughter, that's all right. The, you were the daughter. <laughs> Dave is the father of the bride. Dave was the father of the bride. Yeah. Thank you. And, and so he said, okay, whatever you don't <clears throat> spend, if you choose to spend less, you can keep some of it. Oh, really? It was kind of our deal. Oh, yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> we should <laughs> talk to Dave deal. about that. <laughs> so Winston and I went in and we're like, okay, we're going to save X amount because we were like going to be good and responsible and all that. Well, as we started going, wedding is so expensive. Mm -hmm. So we got to, to the end and I, and I was like, we literally can't save any of this money. Like, we're having to spend it all. So have y'all agreed on mm -hmm. what things you're spending money on, mm -hmm. how much you're spending, like the whole budgeting thing or trying to save money, all of that? Are y'all in agreement or does one of you tend to be more, like, stingy on one side or the other? I say we're both pretty frugal. Mm -hmm. um, 
it was easy to like I didn't want to spend a lot on my dress oh, yeah. um, and we knew we wanted a band and that was like a big mm-hmm. part of the budget yes mm-hmm. um, a live band and we wanted a buffet versus a seated dinner which yeah. often costs more yep um, so there's mm-hmm. ways that you can pick and choose where you want to spend your money. Yeah, and you agreed with most of that? Or yeah, were you like, well, I need a DJ? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't think I was... I have an opinion on a lot of stuff, but I don't think I was super like... I think really what we probably talked about and, and pushed upon the most was the size of the wedding and the focus being the people there. Yeah. And then we wanted to create a fun environment. And yeah. if we're going to save money on food or save money on decorations, like so be it. Uh, we would rather have more people than, like, the best meal of someone's life. That's great. Okay, so that goes into my mm-hmm. next point is your non-negotiables. So have the things as you start planning no matter what. This is what, you know, we want to spend money on this or we value this. So for us, mm-hmm. I remember we got married eight years ago, mm-hmm. and photography, I think, I could be wrong, was probably way more expensive because there weren't a lot of photographers out there. Like, yeah. when you had to hire a photographer, it was, like, a wedding photographer. But now I feel like everyone, like, has a camera and can, like, put cool stuff and a filter and like they're actually really good. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. there's a lot of photographers now, so I feel like it gives you more options. So for us, we spent a lot on photography because I feel like we didn't have a ton of options and you kind of paid mm-hmm. a lot for it. So that was one for me, I remember. And the bands, we wanted a live band too. Mm-hmm. So those were my, my, mine, my wedding. Winston and I said non-negotiables. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what, what are your, so y'all said a band for sure was something you wanted. Mm-hmm. You wanted a lot of people. Anything else that you were like, okay, we for sure want this with our wedding. There was more about the things that we didn't feel really strongly about, which were like the flowers Mm -hmm. or the decorations or the invitations. Yeah. The invitations honestly turned out awesome because Allison's a graphic designer and her sister does calligraphy. Yes. And so... um, I'm done Dan calligraphy. Yeah, I knew that Yeah, that was good. (laughs) And so honestly, they just took care of all stuff like that. And Allison has a really good eye for decoration and things like that. So she knows just ways to make it make it look awesome. Yeah. I would say, too, like what you said about photography, like figure out who mm-hmm. does the things that you need for your wedding and pay them for their services, obviously. But, right. Um, there's a ton of people that would love and be willing to help you with whatever you need, whether it's photography or mm-hmm. um, flowers. Or, or invitations. Or invitations. So did you design the invitations? I did, yeah. Oh, I know the save the date I got, and yes. I know you designed that. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you designed yeah. the wedding invitations. Mm-hmm. See, that's so fun. I should try. We should have a contest, and you design <laughs> a wedding invitation, and I design a wedding invitation, and yeah. we'll see who wins. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Those are good non-negotiables. Okay, so then the fourth tip after all of that is start spending the the moolah. Start spending some yeah. money. And so, for you guys, what's been what's each of you? What's the favorite thing that you've spent on so far? And what's the favorite thing that you've spent money on so far in regards to the wedding? The honeymoon. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not a part. It's not part of the wedding budget. About that. <laughs> Oh, part of the wedding. Oh, part of the wedding. Part of the, the day before. Yes. Right. Okay. <laughs> well, honestly, I would say. It's been fun to figure out where we want to spend on the wedding to be able to budget well enough that we can mm-hmm. spend how much we want on yes. our honeymoon. Was the dress fun? The dress was so fun. Yes. Um, because, I mean, you only go a matter of places, but there's so many options right now that you can get just what you want. And yes. Alterations have been one of the surprising things that are expensive. Oh, my gosh. But besides that, picking out my dress was wonderful. Well, and everything goes like this. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I remember going in, like, oh, we're going to have to take it out here. And then I go in, like, oh, put it in here. I'm like, how's yeah. my body changing so yeah. much in just these fittings? Mm-hmm. It's crazy, though. It right. really is. Yes. All right, Dan, the flowers, is that your favorite part? No. <laughs> I think picking out the, the venues, specifically the reception, because that's where the party's going to be. Yes. And so it was just really fun seeing and just being able to imagine what that night's going to look like for us. And, mm-hmm. Love it. Yeah. So fun. Well, you guys, we're so happy. So happy for y'all. And wedding, your wedding is just so great. It's just everyone that's been married, you know, you can look back on your wedding day. Some people, it was like a complete disaster, but it's still a great memory, like you said, right? It's like no matter what happens. Okay, so thank you guys so much for coming and and chatting about this. And we have a whole chapter in Smart Money, Smart Kids, the book that Dad and I wrote about parenting and kids and money and all of that. There's a whole chapter dedicated on wedding planning. So you can check that out. Download Every Dollar. It's a free budgeting app. And that's a great thing tool that you can use as well. And all engaged couples and married couples should go through Financial Peace University. I got to mm-hmm. put that in there because Absolutely. for real, it's like legit. So have y'all gone through Financial Peace University together? Separately. <gasps> Separately. Uh, we're going to have to redo it yeah. now that we're married. Absolutely. Or almost married. Winston and I had to go through it in a class together. <laughs> like we had to like drive together. Like, and, like there's that. Well, class. she did it. You did it. 
seven months ago. Yeah, I and did I, it when we first started. So y'all know I was like, haha, there's this funny story about yeah. you in it. And I've been through it like 10 times. Maybe. I know, I know. Yeah, it's so. true. That's so fun. Okay, well, thanks, you guys. Yeah. Have sure. Okay, all my guests, we give high fives. So. All three of us? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Oh, I was, was on good. the outside of that. <laughs> so, hey, I want y'all to do this for me. Hey, YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Hey, be sure to... Uh, <laughs> yes, he's so good at it. <laughs> hey, YouTube, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for my sister's channel. Because I'm your favorite sister. Uh, my future maybe. sister. <gasps> future favorite sister? Do you like me better than Denise? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm just trying to get the video views. <laughs> <laughs>